Alright, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mat your artwork. And the materials that you're going to need today is your black construction paper. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to be using a much smaller piece of paper, but you guys are going to be working with a much larger sheet of paper. But just so you can see, this is like a mini version of what you're going to be using. And then I cut out these three little um, mock works of art. So this is representing your artwork. So you're going to need your black construction paper, which I will have cut out for you already. And for people at home, you're going to need um, a pretty large uh, black sheet of construction paper. Whatever you can find at, <clears throat> at Michael's or some other sort of craft, craft store. Anything that will fit your three works of art. And then you'll need your Elmer's school glue, just regular school glue. And then for people at home, you can use scissors, but if you have access to like a large paper cutter at home, um, you can also use that too, but in class we also have a paper cutter, so we'll probably be using that as well. Anyway, so you'll take your black sheet of construction paper, And then your three works of art. If you have your artwork vertical, so up and down, you're going to put them right by right side by each other like this. So I'm going to line them up, make sure that they're level. If you need to, you can use a ruler to make sure that they're all level with each other. Just kind of push each other like this. It doesn't need to be super level right now because I just want to make sure that this is how I want it. If you have your artwork horizontal, like this, you're going to need to, because they won't fit across all side by side, you're going to need to make them line up like this. So two on top and one on bottom. So line them up the, the way you want them first. And then you will take your first artwork, and put these off to the side. <clears throat> You'll take your first artwork, flip it over on the back, take some school glue, and this is a very important part. Please do not use a ton of school glue because it will make a mess. And while school glue, this is another example I used, it will dry clear, but you just really don't want a ton of spillage on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it up just a little bit. And around the corners, I'm just going to put a little bit. Just like that. And I like to make this X shape. Okay. I'm going to flip it over. And place it where you want it, right in the middle there. And while it's still wet, you can kind of maneuver it, you know, off to the side. Straighten it a little bit, and you're going to press down. I got a little bit of spillage on the side here. I can just take my finger and kind of wipe it up just a bit, and it will dry clear. Press down. And while that's drying, you can pick up your second artwork, flip it over, start doing the same thing. I'm going to flip it over and make sure that they're evenly spaced apart. So this space between these two is about the same space as the first one is from the outside, just to make it look all uniform and pretty.
<clears throat> and again, the last one, I'm going to flip my artwork over. Adjust this if I can, just a little bit. There we go. You can adjust things while they're still drying. That's the nice thing about this glue. And I'm going to do the same thing for the last one. Right about there. Adjust it just a little bit. And I'm just going to press down evenly on all of these now. You can use a book. I do recommend using a book, but you do run the risk of the, um, the glue sticking to the book. So I would recommend just using your hands pressing down and it might take a while for it to dry <clears throat> but it's worth it <laughs> press down okay So thankfully, the each side is pretty equal. I got them pretty equally spaced apart. But if you need to cut down one side, like that's totally fine. I am going to cut down these two sides here. So I'm going to take my paper cutter and I'm going to use it to cut down the sides, make all the sides equal. So line this up. <clears throat> Line this up. There we go. That's one side. Flip it over. Do the other side. It's always good to do, um, like have too much space because then you can cut it down more, but if you cut it too short the first time, then you kind of left, kind of can't do much about that. And there we go. So all the sides look pretty much equal. I'm gonna let this dry. <clears throat> you can continue to press down on it gently until each side is you know flat against each other if you need to add more glue on the parts where you know this is coming up just a little bit you can do that as well but yeah that is how you mat your artwork with black construction paper and if you're doing it horizontally you'll pretty much do the same thing except you'll just have a little bit more space on one side of the bottom artwork so there you go, make sure you write your name on the back and then we will probably do some title cards for your artwork to put underneath it. All right, thank you for watching and if you have any questions, let me know and I will do my best to answer.